So when you have side-side angle, this is known as the, the ambiguous case because you don't just necessarily have one triangle, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you why that is. <laughs> so let's say you have a ray here, okay? And you don't know how long that is, but you do know that there's an angle, a set angle, off that ray, okay? So call this alpha. And you know the length um, up here is, I'm going to make this... Uh, B. So I'm going to make my gamma up here. So my side C is over here. So I know the angle and I know this side right here. Okay? And I know this angle right here. So let's just make this in orange. That These are the pieces we know. We also know the other side. So let's say this side looks like this. Okay? And that would be A. That is not going to make a triangle. See, A isn't long enough to get down to that ray. And you could say, well, well, slide the ray up. That changes then alpha, the angle. So you can't do that, okay? So if A is less than the height of the triangle, you won't get a triangle, no triangle, because A is not long enough, okay? It can't get down there to that ray to finish the triangle off. Okay, now let's say we have a ray, and we know this angle, alpha, and we know this side, B, and we know A, and A goes, so we know alpha here, the alpha, and we know this length here, and A happens to go straight down, making a right triangle right there, and that's A. Okay, so you get one triangle, and A is actually equal to the height. And in this case, you get one right triangle. Okay? All right, so that could happen. <laughs> I have to go through all the possibilities. Now let's say you have a ray. You know this angle, alpha. So you know this angle. And you know this side, B. And you know this other side, but the side goes, yeah, maybe it goes like this, okay? And so we'll say that that's side A, okay? And you get a triangle, don't you? A lovely triangle. But if I were to extend my ray just a little bit further here, I could swing that side the other way. So I could make it go, let me do a different color. I could make it go like this, and A is the same length, okay? So I have a triangle. I have a triangle here. It's got a set angle alpha, a set side B, and a set side A. But then I have another triangle that looks like that. The angle didn't change, the side B didn't change, and A didn't change either. It just swung the other way. And you might be saying, yeah, but that angle is different than this angle. That's true, but we don't know that angle. So we don't know which one it is. So in this case, you get two possible triangles. Okay? And that happens when A is greater than H, and A is less than B. Okay? Um, let's see. One more case. You could have a ray, and then you know this angle, alpha, and you know side, so you know this angle, <laughs> alpha, and you know this side B, and then you know C, and C goes like, oops, C goes like, or A, sorry, A goes like this. Now I, my, my ray is too short, so I have to extend it a little more. Okay. And you might have a triangle like that. And you might be saying, yeah, but what if you swung A the other way? Like, what if you, you know, took that side A and swung it over here? Well, it would be too long if I've drawn it right. It would be too long. It wouldn't match up the other way, okay? 
So, I mean, you can go pretty far, but uh, it might not, it might just be too long to do that when A is too long. And so that happens when A is greater than B, and you do get one oblique triangle. Okay, so those are the four possibilities. You might not have any triangle if A is less than H. You might have one right triangle if A equals H. You might have two triangles. And in, if you have two triangles, if you're asking, well, which one do I solve? You have to solve both then. You have to say, we don't know which triangle it is, so we got to do both. Okay, that happens if A is greater than H but less than B. And then finally, if A is greater than B, you'll only get one triangle and it will be a weak. Okay? Greater than or equal to B. Let me just put that in there. <laughs> because it could be an isosceles triangle. Um, an isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal.